if you're stopping for the very first time you're so so welcome please hit the subscribe button before we proceed and kindly turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to be notified when we get to drop a new video right in this same channel we'll be talking about something very interesting in this video so please do all to stick right there watch to the end yeah and do not forget to share this video to your friends and family well, we'll be talking about Julius Malema for like God knows how many months and believe me deep down I feel like maybe we should try him out maybe he should get to win and of course let's see if he's going to bring about all the changes that he keeps preaching about I mean it's very much easy for you to actually talk and make promises when you're not in position but when you're there I don't know you somehow forget about every promise you actually made when you're trying when you're trying to get to that position well there's this particular tweet that was made by Julius Malema and right now so many people feel like he should actually say something about it or maybe he should say more well he captioned his tweet with something like morning fighters public res public representatives must always be accountable to the public for their actions and non-action if you don't want to be account publicly don't even bother contesting the 2024 elections I personally have a problem with public representatives who refuse to be held accountable. So believe me, Julius Malema is a very smart person and I feel like he can't actually be saying something like this if he's not directing it to someone. I mean, he somehow feels like maybe the public representatives that are in power right now somehow are not taking, uh, let's say, their actions into consideration and they are somehow not having or not, they are not being held accountable for their actions and of course that inaction so i feel like maybe he's trying to target someone that has not done something or someone that did something but does not want to be held accountable for what happens at the end i don't know but do you guys have a clue because right now i just feel like he has a general issue with the anc government right now but all the same who exactly could he be talking about well if you have an idea do share your thoughts in the comment section until next video drops again stay tuned and stay blessed